NASA has finally released the very first set of images from the James Webb Telescope and they are nothing short of amazing. With the release of its first set of official images and the beginning of its 20 plus year mission, what do these images of the stars look like from the James Webb Telescope? And what else can we discover in space as we examine it through the lenses of the most powerful telescope in space? In this video, we're going to show you the mind-blowing new images that were just released and everything you may have missed at first glance. The anticipation around the newly released images is palpable as they were made public with views that have never been witnessed before. The first image, known as Webb's first deep field, was the first to be made public. It shows a large collection of galaxy clusters acting as a magnifying glass for the objects that are located behind them, furthering our viewpoint to the early points of the universe. In this single image, there are thousands of galaxies containing billions of stars. It is the most detailed and clear infrared picture of the distant universe that has ever been obtained. The picture is a composite generated by combining many separate pictures captured at various wavelengths. The near-infrared camera was used to capture the photographs that were used in its creation. Some of the galaxies featured in the image have never been seen or explored before. Through the utilization of a lensing galaxy cluster, this deep field could locate some of the most distant galaxies that have ever been found. This image begins to scratch the surface of Webb's potential in researching deep fields and following galaxies all the way back to the beginning of cosmic time. The next release was an image of the atmosphere composition from the planet WASP 96b. To this day, Webb's research on the extrasolar planet has produced the most comprehensive spectrum of any known exoplanet. The spectrum is made up of several wavelengths of light, each of which can be used to learn something new about the planet and the atmosphere it possesses. Previous investigations of this planet could not identify any haze or clouds, but a comprehensive study conducted by Webb of the hot, puffy planet outside of our solar system has shown evidence of both haze and clouds, as well as the distinct fingerprint of water. According to NASA, the distinct signature of water, along with evidence for clouds and haze in the atmosphere surrounding a hot, puffy, gas giant planet orbiting a distant sun-like star. The observation of this planet by Webb has shown a tip of its ability. Astronomers intend to use Webb to study hundreds of other planets to observe possible similar phenomena. The next image released is named Stevens Quintet, composed of five galaxies, four of which are located in a gravitationally bound cluster around 290 million light years away in the constellation Pegasus. Two of these galaxies are very close to colliding with one another. In contrast, the heart of the third galaxy contains a supermassive black hole comparable to the one at the center of our Milky Way galaxy, but many times larger. Behind the quintet of galaxies, the image also shows several other incredibly distant galaxies. This specific image demonstrates that astronomers can now get a rare glimpse at how interacting galaxies are sparking star formation in each other and how the gas in these galaxies is being disrupted. This is a step forward in terms of the level of detail that can be seen. The fourth image released is of a dying star's nebula, which is about 2,000 light years away from Earth. This image by James Webb is only the second ever captured of a dying star. We have Webb's infrared lenses to thank for this. The image has a strange paradox about it, the beauty of death in a sense. Webb can investigate the dust and gas ejected from the shells of dying stars, which may one day form a new star or planet. This can take place from the star's birth through their deaths as planetary nebulas. The nebula has a second star, as well as incredible structures formed as the star creates gas and dust around them. 
The final image is one of the most amazing images of the set, the Carina Nebula. This striking image is reminiscent of the well-known pillars of creation that the Hubble Space Telescope saw, and it has been given a name that is just as dramatic, the Cosmic Cliffs. The huge nebula reminds one of the rugged terrain seen on Earth. It is a star-forming zone with a cliff-like structure caused by the high ultraviolet radiation emitted from newborn hot stars located outside the frame of the image. It is around 7,500 light-years away from Earth and is located within our own galaxy, the Milky Way. This image is proof that Webb can investigate the dust and gas being released from the shells of older stars. This dust and gas may one day become a new star or planet. This can happen at any point in the life cycle of stars, from the time they are newborns to the time they are planetary nebulae. With the presentation of these images, scientists, astronomers and space enthusiasts worldwide are more sure of the telescope's capabilities. The discoveries that would follow hold a lot of promise. An example is the possibility of habitable planets across the galaxy, as the signs of water found on WASP 96b are indications of a possibly habitable planet and they could also be indications of life out in the universe too. The images from James Webb are also signs that the telescope can aid in uncovering our universe's history during its 20-year stretch in space. Scientists can study new galaxies as they form and others as they die because of the quality of these images. President Joe Biden was involved in unveiling the images on Monday evening. He said, this is the oldest documented light in the history of the universe from 13 billion let me say that again, 13 billion years ago. We believe that years down the line, these images will hold much significance for our exploration of space. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched on the 25th of December 2021, and its launch gathered worldwide expectations. The telescope was, in comparison with Hubble, far better and more precise than Hubble could ever have been. These first images have been made public and have had quite an impact on the entire space community. At the unveiling of these images, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson stated, Today we present humanity with a groundbreaking new view of the cosmos from the James Webb Space Telescope, a view the world has never seen before. These images, including the deepest infrared view of our universe that has ever been taken, show us how Webb will help to uncover the answers to questions we don't even yet know to ask. Questions that will help us better understand our universe and humanity's place within it. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. If you want to see even more incredible images released from the James Webb Telescope, then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to click the video on your screen for more amazing content. I'll see you there.